Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. We're through the entire round one of the Euro 2024 group stage matches, and all the applicable cards have now been upgraded. Now we head into round two, but wait, there's more cards coming. Team two of the Make Your Mark promo has been leaked on social media, starting to make appearances out there with some big names included, but some of those names we're not really expecting to see upgraded if they get cards in this game. That's what I want to talk about today. Look at some of those leaks and the future and the next steps of the Make Your Mark promo that is coming up. We're going to cover all that and of course SBC content that dropped yesterday that was very good and the content that might drop today that could shake up the market just a little bit. So if you're excited for it today, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Now, talking about that SBC content yesterday, it was actually a very good day of content yesterday for a couple of reasons. Two player SBCs, and two upgrade SBCs. Let's talk about the player SBCs first, one of which was an insta-complete for me, and it was Mickey Van De Ven. Now, there's a lot of opinions on this SBC because we've had a lot of center backs recently. Maybe you just did the Joe Gomez. Maybe you just did the Araujo SBC. So you're like, Nate, I don't need one. Totally understand that. For me, this SBC is kind of like... If I take my Spurs bias out of it, this is like a 7 out of 10 SBC. A Prem center back for a card that kind of has his own kind of aura in game. He's got a lot of pace. Might actually be pretty usable for the through ball meta that this game seems to be right now. Like this weekend in Champs, all I see is people doing long ball pass over the top through balls or just regular through balls to like the super high pace strikers and attackers that are now in this game, right? And he's got 93 pace with mostly lengthy and 95 sprint speed. So he's He's going to keep up with basically just about everybody. He also has the rapid playstyle regular on the card. That's going to make him even faster in game. He's got all the defending playstyles, including Anticipate Plus, which we love. He's got Aerial, which is nice, and he's six foot four, so he's already pretty tall. So he has all the workings of a really solid center back. The problem is the dribbling. You look at 81 composure, you look at 86 reactions, and you look at the calendar and you see that it's June and you're like, okay, EA Sports, let's juice up those stats a little bit more because that was only plus two dribbling from his 88 rated punnet picks card that was dropped, like, I don't even know, but that was in April, but even then that card was slightly behind the curve. I still think this card is a decent value though, because if you take a look at other center backs that are on this game, like I was thinking of Dragason, he was 215,000 coins yesterday before Mickey Vandeven dropped um and he was you know i think a card like this vandevin has better upgrade potential than dragason does and honestly with anticipate plus vandevin could be a little bit better in game i think if vandevin was on the market he would probably be about the price of what this sbc is 230,000 coins and he's already got the upgrade actually if you put him in the squad here you can see that he's getting two uh chem points from the dutch um kind of links boost you see on the left side there right he's got two of his chemistry points from being dutch since van de Ven played in the first netherlands group stage game and he appeared he made that first appearance and as you can see on all these cards it says that the uh, upgrades are based on the tournament starting june 14th and it says at the bottom if the player achieves any of the upgrades prior to release they will already be applied. So he's already got that initial debut, which means he dropped with the boosted chemistry yesterday, which is nice. So that one for me, it's decent. It's like a 7 out of 10 SBC. It honestly is. Insta complete for me, and I'm excited to try him out in game. But I think for most, it's just kind of, you know, it's all right. It's not too bad. So let's uh, move on to the next player SBC with Stefan Posh. And this one is also a center back card. A lot of people are looking to use him there. Austria, of course, had a very valiant effort two days ago against France. He's got intercept plus anticipate and first touch. And he's a right back or a center back. But of course, the intercept and the anticipate are very, very good play style pluses. He's also got some good passing play style. So this could be a sneaky good card. And he, of course, made a tournament debut against France as well. So he's got that chemistry boost there. And he's only one squad to get done. He's four star, five star, uh, a whopping 58,000 coins. So this is a nice one squad easy complete gg from ea so we take that there now let's move on to the upgrade packs where we had two this 90 plus tots upgrade is the first one i want to talk about this was a surprise it was added to the code yesterday a couple hours before content this pack code right it's an 86 rated squad for any tots player that is 90 or above including all the different types of tots cards right the problem i have this with this sbc is 
I don't know what the point of it is. Is this just a gamble pack to try to give us a team of the season player? Or is this supposed to give us Tots fodder, which a lot of us are starting to lack, right? And that's why Tots prices continue to go up on the market. If this is really supposed to solve the problem of us not having Tots cards or trying to make Tots cards go down a little bit on the market because they're crazy expensive right now, I don't think it solves the problem, EA. You can only do it one time per week, just like you have one time per week to do the tradable 81 plus team of the week pack that is going to refresh again today right and probably bring some tradable supply to those but like it just feels like this pack makes no sense to me it's out for 28 days repeatable every seven really the better answer to the problem here would have been this pack repeatable every single day or this pack dropped once a week and tradable just like the 81 plus team of the week so that's my two cents i wish ea would have dropped this tradable if they were trying to bring down the supply or bring down the price of tots cards by supplying them a bit but it is a gamble pack there and i wouldn't expect to get anything good out of that guys that is not where i would focus your fodder at least at this time where i would put your fodder is the other pack that we had yesterday the gamble tuesday specific 92 plus festival of football upgrade now we opened a bunch of these yesterday on stream if you want to check that out it's on the second channel because guys the weight from this is actually pretty solid it's because a lot of the cards that are coming out of this are path to glories i was wondering if it was going to be make your mark cards more heavily populated out of this sbc than the ptgs but it was honestly a lot of the euro ptgs that we saw which is even better because those have better upgrades and honestly, they just have a lot more hype than the Make Your Mark cards, which is so, so, so nice. So for the price of this SBC being, what is it, 92,000 coins, you think about all the Path to Glories and the Make Your Mark cards that are out there that are above that, especially since the PTGs have just only been increasing in value i packed sabitzer yesterday 300,000 coin card sure it doesn't go into my team right now but if i ever want to use that end of an era marco royce if sabitzer ends up getting some upgrades boom that's a card that i could use in my team i mean he is good enough he's all 90 stats with great play style pluses i'm genuinely down to try him out that's my card that i got yesterday we saw a bunch on stream we packed screen ER for people we packed gavard the old danny olmo actually full krug is a pretty common pack pull from this pack He's 245,000 coins, really OP in game, and they play today for a potential path towards more upgrades. So this SBC was honestly a really good gamble pack because a lot of the players that were coming out of it were greater in value than the price of this SBC. So a must craft, in my opinion, only an 84 and an 85 rated squad as well. And of course, since there's a lot of hype for that, guess what's going up? SBC fodder. GG's if you invested in 84s or 85 specifically. 85s went from 4k yesterday to over 5,000 coins. They're just a shade down now and they might even go up a little further today. 86s, 87s, 88s all slightly up and of course 84 is having a nice little jump there as well. Today is going to be as it is every single Wednesday the day to sell fodder in my opinion. Even with weekend league rewards it hasn't been supplied in the market that much. Thursdays with rivals rewards Usually it gets supplied a bit more, even though the Rivals rewards now have kind of been nerfed and they don't even bring in as much supply. I do expect to see fodder dip down a little tomorrow. So I think today would be the day to sell that fodder if you have it. So honestly, a solid day. That 92 plus plus the Vandevin, it was a really decent day of content yesterday. And then you throw in the daily set of upgrades. Now, yesterday brought us some really exciting games, to be completely honest. And some interesting facts to talk about with these upgrades. Firstly, we've got Rafael Leal, Ruben Diaz, and Bernardo Silva for the Portuguese win yesterday. That 2-1 win. I think it was 2-1. Was it 2-1? Pretty sure it was. Hold on. One quick second. I'm pretty sure it was. Round 1 finished all games yeah it's up here at the top yeah it was two to one there was so many like so many offside or called back goals recently um yeah there's been a lot of that so that was the portuguese upgrades there for those cards layout was down in price i mean who's surprised a lot of time these cards for the make your marks they're overvalued 3.9 mil that's down a lot he was 4.6 right when the game started yesterday and he's down a lot i'm not even surprised that card has been overpriced since he has been uh, released in packs. Now, the other cards I want to talk about are Guler and Miku Datsy. Interestingly enough, yesterday's games were the last games played for, of course, the first round of the Euros group stages, right? Those two, Arda Guler and Miku Datsy, were the first two players of Make Your Mark that were attackers or midfielders to actually score or assist, and they both scored 
um, Guler an insane goal, right? But they both scored and they were the first ones to actually make a progress towards a goal or assist upgrade for the overall upgrade for the Make Your Mark cards. Literally, they were the first ones to score a goal, which is crazy that it took Arda Guler and Mikudatse on the last day of week or game week one, I guess you could call it, of the Euros to finally have somebody score or assist, right? And that's a huge part of these upgrades since they're so individual based. But of course, that brings more hype to the Arda Guler SBC because he has that progression. And now, since he saw the pitch, of course, he was playing and he scored. He has got his tournament debut, so he's got that chemistry boost. So, yesterday, there wasn't really as much market impact on the cards that won, like going up in price. There was, of course, some fluctuations during the games. Since Georgia lost, of course, against Turkey, right? You've got Kavarit Skelia, who is actually back up a little bit now, but he was down a good amount. He's like 370,000 coins, but if you take a look at his graph and i'm sure a lot of you guys were following his price yesterday he was well over 400,000 coins like pre-game he was four almost 500k dropped all the way down to 340 and then bounced back up always guys watch these cards post game because they do have bounces so that kind of happened yesterday and then one other interesting thing to note is that check Republic yesterday, when they scored against Portugal, this Nedved went from 100k and he spiked to like 120,000 coins, and then he did go down. Of course, he's still up a little bit. He's back to 110 because that was one goal on the tally progressing towards Nedved's upgrade, and he uh, did not, of course, get upgraded yet. But again, all he needs one more goal, and he gets a plus one. Other thing I want to note really quick is Ruben Diaz. When Portugal was kind of going through it, and when they were struggling there for a little bit in the game, Ruben Diaz did drop, and even though uh, they ended up winning. He still actually dropped post game. I just looked at his graph and there was lows of like 1.8 million coins. He's now 97 rated with 97 defending and 97 physical. Look at those defending and physical stats. Wow. That's crazy, right? Also 99 reactions, composure and shot power and short and long pass. That's a crazy card. So yeah, he was down a little bit yesterday, but probably now he's going to start to go back up. That is the, of course, we've been saying it like every single day, but those are kind of the time frames to be watching the cards. The ones that are hype still have upgrades coming, especially if they win, even if they drop post game, which they most often do. That's a good time to be watching those prices. So that's kind of the current update for the upgrades and everything going forward. Today, we start match day number two, and we're going to talk about that in a second. But first, let's talk about make your mark team too, because we've had these cards now for a few days. And I think a lot of us are just like, you know what, scrap these. Let's move on to the next thing because the pack weight for these has been horrific. And that is one thing that we need to change about team two. Now, as I'm looking over the players that have been leaked for team two, it doesn't seem like it's an obvious, oh my goodness, team two is better than team one. We got to see some more names, but let's look through a few of these and talk about a few things. Remember, it's all based around the individual performance here for these guys, right? Furland Mendy is coming as a make your mark card. They dropped two France cards last week, Kolomani and Shuomeni, who are still in packs right now. We have two more coming this week. They're both defenders. Furland Mendy is the first one. I had to think back to the last Furland Mendy we had, and I think it was his fantasy card. And there was a lot of jokes in the stream earlier today that it uh, people were saying, wow, look, it's the third Furland Mendy or the fourth Furland Mendy special card that we're about to get this year. And the fourth one that I will have absolutely no chance at packing. This fantasy card already has 99 pace so and 95 physical as well. So I don't even know how crazy this one's going to look. But I would be shocked if he did not have four play style pluses. A lot of these cards that seem to be leaked right now seem to be kind of the cream of the crop top tier and I think Mendy's going to be up there for sure he's going to be really expensive the best left back in the game and he's going to have four play style pluses for sure and he I don't know if he's going to get upgrades though that's the problem with a couple of these cards that have been leaked is Ferland Mendy going to see the pitch he did not play in their last game will he actually get on the pitch and have a chance to play for his upgrades that's the first card that we have a problem with in that regard the second league that's pretty big is Trent Alexander Arnold and a lot of people were really hoping to see a Trent card during this promo and it looks like we are getting ourselves one now again as we always look at with these leagues guys completely ignore the ratings on the card the play style pluses like he's not going to have one play style plus he's not going to be 92 rated he's going to be above that ignore the ratings it's all about the player all these stats are predicted and it's who can tweet out the the graphic the fastest after they get the leak that's kind of how it works trent's probably going to be 94 or 95 maybe even 96 rated he's going to be pretty high rated i would imagine 
he's probably going to have four play style pluses as well. I don't think EA can miss out on this opportunity to drop a really cracked Trent card. They would bring a lot of hype, especially for English fans. And here's the real question. Is Trent going to be a midfielder or is he going to be a defender from base position? Of course, he played in the midfield the last game for England. With that being said, I could see EA releasing him in the midfield, but would he have a better chance of upgrading with assists or goals as a midfielder base position or would he have a better chance of getting clean sheets and upgrading in that way that's a real big question that i have of course england did clean the clean sheet last game so you think maybe there's an opportunity there so that's a big trend card that's going to be coming hopefully four play style pluses i would expect it but you never know and um maybe some upgrades there for him and since he already played he should start with the chemistry boost as well. Next up is our next French player, Konate. A lot of people probably still have this guy in the club if you did his team of the season SBC, which was honestly a pretty solid SBC. And I remember I did not like him at first, and he ended up being a really cracked card and probably one of the more popular SBCs of team of the season, if we're being completely honest. I'm checking right now on my club to see how many games played I have in my tots, Konate. Uh, how many games? 176. 13 yellow cards and 3 red cards. But this card was very good. And with 3 playstyle pluses already, like, there's not even a choice here. They gotta give him that 4th playstyle plus. Maybe boost the weak foot to a 4 star. And other than that, just give him Anticipate Plus. Can you imagine this card right here with Anticipate Plus? Bruiser, Block, and Aerial, and Anticipate Plus he would be nutty. Like he was already a really, really solid center back card. This one's going to be expensive. It's not going to be an SBC. It's probably going to be in packs. Um, but again, another card that we look at and see, hmm, he did not play in the last France game. Is he going to get in the starting 11? Is he going to see the pitch in the French games going forward? We'll have to see, right? Big question mark for him there. Now, I know Belgium did not play that well in their last game, in their first game of the Euros, but Doku is coming as a make your mark player. He could be really cracked. And I mean, here's the thing with Doku, right? This is another thing with like, we just looked at Konate. Look at this. Doku just had a Tots live card as well. This is his second live card in a row in this game um he's had the winter wild cards a couple informs which this inform early game was crazy i don't know if you guys remember that but he's also had the future stars and now we're getting yet again another doku card he's gonna be cracked he's probably gonna have 99 dribble and 99 pace and probably four play style pluses as well and he's gonna be ridiculously expensive because he's already seen the pitch he's probably gonna play a lot for belgium and if they turn their act around he might even score some goals i feel like he has a good chance of assisting or scoring goals in this tournament and he could be a card that upgrades so that's one that's really interesting to me some people are saying he could be an sbc i think he'd be way too expensive for an sbc this is probably like a two three mil card if i'm being honest it's going to be expensive he might even be five five we'll have to see joao neves is one of the last leaks that we have right now for the euros cards he's a young gun for portugal a lot of people have been really excited about this card getting a special item and he is now getting one I don't know if he played yesterday. I had to go back and look. But Juan Nevis is getting a card. Those are predicted stats for sure. Maybe three playstyle pluses instead of four. Who knows? Uh, but potential upgrades there for him. And the last leak that we have is Rodrigo. Wrong card design because Brazil is not on the Euros, even though I mistakenly said that a couple of uh, videos ago. Anyways, Rodrigo will be coming as a Copa America Make Your Mark player. He's going to be cracked. Of course, he had the Tots Moments card that a lot of people wanted to use. He was really rare, very meta during a La Liga team of the season. This one's probably going to have four play style pluses and also 99 pace and 99 dribble, which seems to be a very common um, stat line that EA likes to drop. So of all of those that have been leaked so far, we just got to see a lot of them with four play style pluses. I think EA needs to make the move this time. Instead of it being like the same number, like four or five cards in this promo, Team two wise, having four play style pluses, it needs to be like six or seven, like plenty of these cards having the four play style plus boost. And really, from those leaks, it's tough to tell if team one is going to be better than team two. We got to see more names. We got to see some of the other, you know, maybe quote unquote middle tier to like lower tier cards, the fodder ones. But the top tier ones look solid. Maybe not as like heavy hitters and as big of names as Cole Palmer, Virgil van Dyke, Rafael Leao but they're up there. So I will wait and see what some of the other leaks are. Of course, there's going to be more live cards for it looks like all of the nations in the Euros and Copa America. It's just like EA is continuing the live card madness. 
adds more cards for them to upgrade and try to keep track of. So we're going to watch the leaks as they come out um, and, and hope that Packway is definitely better for Team 2 than Team 1. Let's talk about today's content on Wednesday because Wednesdays have been kind of big content days, at least during Team of the Season. First of all, we already mentioned it already, but you got the daily refreshes, the 81 plus Team of the Week player pick, the 85 plus and the 86 double, which I'm behind on because I'm low on fodder. I got to get some of these done here pretty soon. Um, and I don't think I'm going to save any of these, but gosh, the pack weight again, I opened a 650,000 coin pack yesterday, which was a really dumb idea. Those packs are terrible this week with the pack weight of these team one cards of make your mark. So watch out for the refreshes though, for the grind. If you're crafting SBCs, those of course are good to do. And also the hero pick is refreshing today too, which I know some people enjoy the first time around because you have a chance at least of the greats of the game cards even though that chance is going to be really small. That is refreshing today. Small chance there. Large chance of fodder increasing in price because of that refresh. And the other SBC that I expect to come today, and that is the Make Your Mark Team 1 Guarantee Pack. I mean, you can notice, right? Yesterday's 90 plus toss upgrade was ID 1701. ID 1702 and probably the next to be released if we're going in like a chronological or numerical order I guess you would say this pack right here contains one make your mark or make your mark plus team one player of course that is just from this team which would include the euro and the copa cards and I think if they're going to make a guaranteed path to glory SBC cheap like they did last week then hopefully they're going to make a guarantee to make your mark SBC cheap this week. Last week, the guaranteed PTG was 84.85. That's EA's favorite requirement right now, just an 84 and an 85 rated squad. And I think this week it should be around the same. I hope it's not too much more expensive than last week's, to be completely honest. But again, that's why I'm saying today is going to be a good day to sell fodder because there's going to be a lot of people wanting to go and do that pack. Now, is it going to make the other make your mark cards fly up in price? I wouldn't say it's going to make them fly, but I could say it's going to make some of the higher rated ones just start to creep up there in value. Again, just like we saw during Prem Tots, people who didn't pack the ones that they wanted to buy, you started to see those get bought up a little bit after that guarantee pack were to be dropped. But again, it's all about upgrades and we have more games on the line today. Of course, we expect a player SBC. I think the only player SBC that's been seriously leaked has been Tim Weah. So we maybe have a USA Tim Weah Copa card coming today. That's the only other leak that we have. The player SBCs have been honestly really solid recently. Even the make your mark ones. That's been the highlight of this promo, to be honest. The upgrade packs, not good. The players in packs and the pack weight, mid. But Javi Simons has been really, really solid. Arda Guler, really good SBC as well. Vandevin's up there. Um, you know, Tony, you could argue, is decent as well. The showdown for um, Paredes is, is solid too. Garnacho, of course. How can we forget about him? I haven't done him yet, but what a great card. Hopefully, the Tim Weah is a decent card as well. I, I doubt they're going to give him four playstyle pluses. I bet it's three, but we will have to see. He's probably going to be decently cheap as well. Other than that, Wednesdays are kind of just kind of like inflection point days. Then on Thursday, we have a lot of stuff with the objective section that we're going to be watching for. We'll see if we get any leaks for, again, maybe the new One Nation Frenzy or also the weekend league objective. And I want to say this too. I would not set your expectations on there being another weekend league objective. I haven't finished champs yet. I got to get three. I have to go three and oh. So come to the stream tomorrow. If there is a stream, there may not be, I shouldn't have said that. Um, look at Twitter. I'll post about it. Uh, check Twitter to see if I get Enzo Fernandez, but your boy needs to go three and oh real quick before champs expires in like an hour and a half. But anyways, um, yeah, Wednesdays have been decent days for content because the guaranteed packs, make sure you get the 92 plus done from yesterday. And of course, with our live games on tap today, we got to cover this Croatia, Albania, starting early, watch Sukar, Gavardiol, Sosa even, and like those cards, this could be a really kind of like a good day for Croatia cards because I know some people have invested in Gavardiol. He's gone up a good amount, but he could go up a lot more. And I think they could score some goals today against Albania. And if they do, Sukar is going to go up. And then you've got Germany versus Hungary. I've invested in the middle stat card because I think there's a really good opportunity for a clean sheet here, which would increase his value um, as a kind of step towards a boost in price and a boost in stats for him. Full Krug, Undav, and Balak, man. I'm telling you, these German cards after last Friday's game, they're just really expensive. Like, I know Full Krug is really OP. Undav is extinct. 
and Balak keeps going up in price. But Balak doesn't get any more upgrades. Like, it's if they score goals today, whoop de freaking do. He's already maxed out. He's 96 with four playstyle pluses. So the only hype for a Balak card today is maybe there's another German player that is dropped. Uh, or there's hype for full Krug or just German in, Germany in general, and this card goes up a little bit. So full Krug and Undav would be the ones that you really want to watch, and Middlestat too. Um, full Krug seems really expensive for 240k for that card, but hey, selling on the hype is always the best play. They're expected to win. If anything shocking happens, you won't want to be on the wrong end of it. And the last game that we have today, the late game, is Scotland versus Switzerland, which I think could be a really interesting game because guys like Dalglish and McTominay are probably deserving of upgrades, but will Scotland kind of bounce back from that first Germany game, or will Switzerland continue to look pretty decent from their first game? We'll just have to see. So it's going to be an interesting day of the Euros with kind of those games that we watched last week, kind of trying to remember those and watching how the teams respond in their second game of the group stages here. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a tip up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. Check out the second channel again for some highlights from yesterday's stream and those 92 plus packs. And I will see you guys in a video tomorrow, we'll say, just to be safe. I will catch you guys there. It's been Nathan for the Count, and peace out.